pills into people's hands, and part of the strategy of the movement, figuring out how people are going to take care of each other and take care of those who need abortions in this post-row future that is imminently approaching. Which sounds exactly like the pre-row um, uh, past, uh, though they might not have had those drugs at the time, but exactly. people helping each other. Right. Exactly. Wow. That's the key difference, Amy. That I love this bird. Self support networks are there. You know, that's very that's been shy. There. That's been there for, for a long time in states like Texas that have heavily restricted abortion even before. He's a very shy you know, bird. Um, Oops, sorry. But, but the tools are very different, right? We're talking about safe medication, the same medication, again, that you can get prescribed in a clinic. Um, sorry for the blurry vision. It's camera is not focusing. The key is that a lot of people don't know this medication is out there. And so I think the activists were really trying to say, hey, you know. But what we have here is a real carpenter. All your friends, you know, these pills are available on the internet. A real carpenter, and, um, my God. There are safer options now than there were, you know, before 1973. But of course, there's also severe danger, whether people are able to link into those networks. And we're, of right. course, also talking about uh, yeah. The poorest people in the United yeah. States, people who it would not be easy to cross state lines. I mean, even for anyone. He's looking for a grub. But for people um, who don't have the He knows where the grub is inside, the, inside the tree, and, and he will get a nice, big, fat, juicy grub. Half of states. Right, right. Half of states. Half of states. And, and he knows how to find them, man. That's this the way it is. And, and, you know, activists in Texas are witnessing. Okay, it's early in the morning. Uh, who can't afford to travel, I don't, who I forget, I can't remember can't offhand the name of this woodpecker. And they can't escape their state where it looks like an ivory-billed woodpecker, like when I see the pictures of the ivory-billed so woodpecker, it looks like this, but no of course he's not an ivory bill. So they've been declared Texas, extinct, which, uh, I think by one measure extinct, but this is, um, it's not coming to me, I haven't had my coffee yet. But as soon as I get the name, I'll, Texas, I'll put it. Right? Don't worry, I'll put it on the post. But this is an amazing woodpecker. I know I have a family living around here. I've been taking pictures of them for several years now. And it's nice to see that they're hanging in there. Okay, i got to get my coffee and he's got work to do. When Alliance Defending Freedom, which is this... That's an ash tree, by the way. The Christian right agenda. That's why the um, uh, ribbon is around it, because it has been marked for taking down because of the Asian borer beetle invasion. Later. This is a pleated woodpecker. It's early in the morning and he's hard at work at a tree. That's an ash tree, actually. And it has a ribbon around it because it has been designated for taken down because of the Asian borer beetle invasion. <coughs> Excuse me. But the way this fellow's going to work is probably some Asian border beetles living in the tree. Wow. What a beauty. What a beauty he is. It's a big bird. I'm sorry I'm not getting focus. I'm sorry it's not focusing. If I go outside, he could stay. As he stayed once as I took pictures of him. But chances are he will he will fly away. So it would have been so wonderful to get a clear close up of him. But this is uh, he has he is debarking this tree. He is debarking. Let me tell you this tree. Yes, he is. And that really starts in 1976 with the passage of the Hyde Amendment. Um, Representative Henry Hyde, who, who brought it forward, said he wanted He is debarking this tree. Last. All he had was the Medicaid bill, and so he would have to just restrict it for poor people on Medicaid. Um, and so the Hyde Amendment, which banned federal funding of abortion and, and eliminated access. 
access to abortion for most people who are... It's a great abortion. sight to see them in the morning. Um, I know I have a family of the pleated woodpecker to oppose it at the time. because I've been taking pictures of them and videos of them around my house. It's still rare because they're very shy. They're very shy indeed. They remind me of the ivory billed woodpecker, which has now been declared extinct. So, um, let's enjoy him working, doing what he does, what God put him on earth to do. He's looking for grubs. This is how he eats and stays fit. So he must know what he's doing, and he's built to do what he does. Okay, folks, I'm going to leave this carpenter at work while I move on to other things myself. Sorry. Okay, I came outside to get this video because obviously he intends on working on this tree. And he's not interested in running away. He knows I'm here. This is rare footage of the beautiful pleated woodpecker who happens to be on a on an ash tree with a r pink ribbon around it because it has been designated for a takedown because of the beetle borer invasion. So obviously, <laughs> this bird believes there's grubs in this tree from the Asian borer beetle. Sorry for my unsteady hand, but it is rare footage of an exotic woodpecker, a shy, large woodpecker. And we're very fortunate to have this video. Okay. I'm going to go back inside. He'll be doing this for a while. Okay. This is where he lives. A long lake of pack on amongst the trees that lined. Among the trees that lined is a landscape. All the leaves are down. He's like everybody else fattening up for the winter. 